Hi students, welcome back to part 5, chapter 9, Heredity and Evolution. In this video, we are going to see sex determination in living organisms. So under this topic, we are going to see how the gender, either male or female of an uh, offspring or individual or a child is determined. And uh, there are two types of uh, sex determination in living organisms. They are environmental uh, sex determination and genetical sex determination. First, we will see about environmental sex determination. In environmental sex determination, the gender of an organism, either a male child or a female child, male offspring or female offspring, uh, that is determined by the environmental factors. Environmental factors like a temperature, pH, these and all determines the gender of an organism or gender of a, uh, offspring, a young ones or a child. Now, mostly in uh, animals, uh, environmental factor, temperature determines the gender. Uh, so, uh, the best example in which temperature determines the uh, gender is uh, turtles and crocodile. So, in uh, uh, turtles, that is reptiles, most of the reptiles, in most of the reptiles, the gender is determined by the uh, env environmental factor, uh, temperature. Uh, turtles and crocodile. Uh, gender uh, either it is male or uh, female is uh, determined by temperature and uh, temperature plays an important role in affecting the uh, uh, incubation uh, period of the egg. So this temperature during the incubation period of the egg of uh, reptiles plays an important role in determining the gender of a uh, uh, organism. So, this is about environmental sex determination. So, uh, in this uh, type of uh, sex determination, environmental factors plays an important role in determining the gender of an organism. And the next important uh, type of uh, sex determination is genetical sex determination. In genetical sex determination, genes from the parents, both the parents, male parent, uh, female parent, or maternal parent and paternal parent determines the gender of a child. So, in genetical sex determination, genes from both the parents, paternal uh, parent and maternal parent determines the gender of a child. A best example uh, of uh, genetical sex determination is human being. So, in human being, genes from both the parent, mother and uh, father determines the gender of a child. And uh, in human beings, uh, there are 23 pairs of uh, chromosomes. Uh, there are two types of chromosomes present in human beings. Uh, one is autosome and another one is sex chromosome. So there are two types of chromosome present in human beings. They are autosomes and sex chromosomes. Totally there are 23 pairs of chromosomes present in um, uh, human being that is uh, 20 out of that 23 3 pairs, 22 pairs are autosomes and 1 pair is sex chromosome. So students, how many uh, pairs of chromosomes are present in human being? Totally 23 pairs of chromosomes are present. Out of that 23 pairs of chromosome, 22 pairs are autosomes and 1 pair is sex chromosomes. Uh, and this 22 pairs of autosomes are present in body cells and one pair of sex chromosomes are present in, chromosome is present in uh, reproductive cells. In uh, male it is present in sperm cell and in female it is present in egg cell. And in human beings this one pair of sex chromosome determines the uh, gender or sex of the child, uh, uh, whether it is a male child or female child. So, the genes that is sex chromosome from the uh, parent, both the parents that is a maternal and paternal parent determines the gender of a child. So, in uh, students in this video, we 
studied about uh, sex determination and how the gender uh, male child either male child or female child is uh, determined uh, we study in this video and there are and types of uh, sex determination also we study that is uh, two type that are two types environmental sex determination and genetical sex determination and most of the reptiles uh, environmental factor that is temperature plays an important role in uh, sex determination and uh, in a human being, uh, genetical sex determination uh, we saw. So, genes from uh, both the parents determines the gender of a child. And students in next part will study uh, detail about sex determination in human beings. Bye students.